we are going to learn how to deploy a React web application in production. When we develop any React application, we generally execute npm start. And it starts a development server and opens a browser window to view the application. Then while we develop, when we update the code, the development server automatically compiles code and refreshes the page in the browser. This type of workflow is really amazing, but only for development. React's development server does not generate efficient code, mainly because refreshing the page with the latest changes is the number one priority when you are developing. We don't want to wait for a slow build process every time we update a text on the page. But for production deployment, we want the best runtime performance. For that, we can execute npm run build to build a production build. It takes a little while to compile all the files and, and when it is done, we get a build folder. This build folder is your web app. It has an index.html file. This is your entry point and if you check the static javascript files, you will find that they are minified, optimized for performance. So you can serve this folder with any web server. But we are gonna use nginx. Nginx is very good at serving static resources and it is also industry standard. Install Nginx your package manager. Apt install Nginx. You need just one line, so easy. Now if you point to a server's IP, you will find that you will be able to see the default Nginx page. That means Nginx is working. Perfect. Next step is configure Nginx for our React application. You can find Nginx configurations in etc. Nginx sites available folder. As you can find, one default configuration file is there. And there is another folder, sites enabled, in which you will find symbolic links to the config files. Currently, one site is enabled, which is the default one. Alright, we're gonna create another configuration file for our web app. I'm gonna copy the default configuration file and clean it up a little bit. And here is our config file that serves www folder. Then change the root folder to our React Apps build folder and restart Nginx. But Nginx didn't pick our config file. We have to enable our configuration. So disable the default configuration by deleting the symbolic link and create a new symbolic link in sites enabled folder. Then restart Nginx and reload browser and you'll be able to see your React app in browser. While deploying the app, I found two major problems. Number one, problems with React router. When we use a browser router from React router, we get separate URL paths for different routes. But we all know that for a single page app, there is only one index.html file. So the path that you see in the URL actually only exists in the browser and no such path exists in the server. So if you try to reload the page or open a link in a new tab, your browser will try to access the path in the server which doesn't exist. What to do then? The solution is to route all the failed requests to index.html file. Then restart Nginx and your routes will start working. Second problem is routing API calls. I have an API server written in Node.js running in port 9000. To route all the API calls to the node server, we have to set up Nginx like a reverse proxy server. So I'm gonna write another blog that matches all the requests that starts with slash API and route that to our node.js server. Nginx provides this proxy pass function to do the same thing with just one line. So this is the basic Nginx deployment of React apps. Definitely your app will be much more complex than this but you can at least start from here if you found this video useful let me know in the comments and if you have any questions please ask and i'll try to answer them with my limited knowledge of course